Hello everyone. Welcome to this video series on Web Technologies Lab. So in this video, we are going to look at program four. Okay. So in this program, there are four sub programs. So the first program, what they are asking us to do is they are asking us to display a button uh, with the text date. When you click this button. Okay, that is using the on click function. What what should happen is we have to display the current date in a text box. Okay, so I am repeating the question again. So in the page that is the web page, you have to display a date button. When you click the date button, that is using the on click function, you have to display the current date in a text box. Okay, so let's see how to do this. Okay, so I am in my editor. Now, the first thing to do is you have to create the HTML page. So we will use the doc type tag, uh, which tells the browser that the code we are writing here is HTML. So HTML root tags. Similarly, the closing HTML tag. Okay, let me save this file. So D drive wt program four, and let me save this file as date dot html. Okay, save. Okay, now the file is saved as date dot html. Now the head section. So head section inside the head section, we will write the title tag, which displays the title on the a uh, web browser tab so let me write date demo in fact you can write anything but i am writing date demo and here i am going to write my uh, what do you say javascript okay so in program 2 if you remember i have written the javascript code in a separate file and i have linked it here but this time in this program i am going to write the javascript here in the web page itself okay so i am writing this in the head section so for writing javascript we will use the script tag and one attribute we will write is uh, type equal to text slash javascript okay and you have to write the closing tag So I forgot the double quote here. Okay, now it's right. Okay, so before writing the JavaScript code, let me write the body section also. Okay, so whatever uh, controls or elements you want to display in the web page, those things we will write inside the body tag. Okay. So as we have to display a button, I am going to write. I'll create the form. I am using the form tags, so we will have the closing form tag. And here, let me write a label. And I am writing today's date. Okay. Next, I have to display a text box. So I will write input type equal to text. Okay, and I am using the ID ID attribute. So why I am why I am using the ID attribute? I want to refer this control in the JavaScript. Okay, I have already used the ID ID attribute in second program, right? Right. So ID is given as txt date. Okay, I am closing the input tag, and I am also closing the label tag. Okay, now you have to display a button, right? So in the question they ask us to display a button. So input type equal to button and value you can give anything, but I am giving get date. Okay, and if you remember the question they are asking us to use the on click functionality. Okay, so the on click is an event. So this event is um, arrays when you click the button. Okay, 
so whenever this click happens i want to call the function get date okay so i i will write this function inside the javascript don't worry right so this is the body section that's all okay now i will write the javascript code so the function i have to write is get date function get date okay now i am declaring a constant called date which will be assigned the object called date so as you are already familiar with java you know that we will use the new keyword uh, for creating objects okay so the same is the thing in javascript also so uh, i am creating the date object okay and i am referencing it with this variable date okay you can write d if you want but yeah, i am writing date here now i have to uh, access this text box so how to access this text box i have to use this id okay so if you remember the second program uh, i have used this thing document object okay dot get element by id here i will give this value txt date okay so how to refer the value you will write dot value equal to date so whenever you create this object it will give you the current date and time okay it will be stored in this and we are assigning the same thing to the text box okay so that's it so let me go to the location where i saved the file so it is in d drive okay wt program 4 and here is the page so i am opening the page okay so i am displaying a label i am displaying a text box or text field and i am displaying a button when i click this button the date should the date should be displayed in this okay so i am clicking it right i got the date and time monday april 1 2024 and this is the time okay so it is displaying indian standard time okay so this is the first program so in the second program we will see the uh, another thing another program so this is it for this video thank you